the third modulus of elasticity that is bulk modulus. Bulk modulus is the modulus of elasticity associated with volume change. So, if we are considering an air bubble inside a liquid, the liquid will exert pressure from all the sides. So that there will be a change in volume which we can say delta V. Then, how much change in volume is produced with respect to original volume? That is the strain produced here. And this strain produced, we are calling it as hydraulic strain. And the corresponding stress, which is actually the pressure exerted by the fluid, then it is called hydraulic stress is equal to force by area, which we can directly call it as pressure. So the modulus of elasticity associated here, the bulk modulus B is equal to hydraulic stress by hydraulic strain that is equal to F by A divided by delta V by V or that is equal to F V divided by A delta V. But here delta V is the final volume minus initial volume. So due to the pressure actually the volume is decreasing so final value is less than initial value that implies delta V is equal to a negative quantity so the bulk modulus will become negative which is not possible which is not applicable since the modulus of elasticity is always a positive quantity so to neutralize this we will add a negative sign additional additional negative sign here so that the bulk modulus can be written as minus P V divided by delta V. Then, so when delta V is ne uh, becoming negative, this negative and this negative will get uh, cancelled and bulk modulus will always be positive. Then we can define a quantity that is the reciprocal of bulk modulus which is known as compressibility. So compressibility K is equal to 1 by B. So we can define from this equation K is equal to delta V divided by PV. So if P is equal to 1 ITM, that is unit rise in pressure, how much is the volume change? So compressibility is a measure of the change in volume corresponding to unit rise in pressure. 